Hey everyone, this is Sharon, and I want to jump on the bandwagon regarding brain dumps. I know I'm about a week and a half or two weeks behind, but I thought that I would give my input. And this is going to be a really quick video because the concept is just really, really simple to me. So let me show you how I do things. And then at the end I'll show you a little bit about how I have decorated my planner for fall. So, I have a notes section. This little post-it is just a note about the paper size for the personal, so I'll know whenever I'm out and about. So basically, I use the brain dump section. I use my notes section for that. And basically, I write down everything in my brain dump section that is not a specific task, it's not a specific appointment. If it's notes that I'm taking during a meeting or during a phone call or notes that I'm taking while I am perusing the Facebook groups or while I'm reading a book or while I'm watching a TV commercial or while I'm driving along and I hear a song on the radio. Anything and everything that is not a specific task that has to be done at a specific day or a specific appointment goes in my notes section. And what I do is, as I use up my pages, and I'll show you how I do that in a minute, but as I use up my pages, I clip them together. And then during my weekly review, I will take them out and throw them away because I'll show you why. But uh, let me show you. So these are all pages that I've used and um, you know they're ready to be thrown away. But this is what they look like. I jot it down. I do put it a date um, just so that I know when the note, when I took the note for whatever reason. But as I write down the note, each day I have a specific task. It's a recurring daily task to review previous notes. So what I will do is I will come to the notes section and I'll look at any notes that have not been crossed off and I'll address them. Either I'm going to make it a task on a certain day or I will make it a task on my master task list that doesn't have a specific day it needs to be done or I will um, make an appointment or I'll put it wherever it needs to be in my planner and sometimes it doesn't even need to be in my planner sometimes it's just a reminder to ask something or whatever and then once I do it I cross it off but you see that these are just pages that I have written stuff down meeting notes phone call notes just all kinds of stuff and I cross it off once I'm done. And then during my weekly review, I throw them away. This is just a little page marker for my next available blank spot on a page. Like today, like today, I put the date up here this morning, but I didn't take any notes today. So that's fine. So tomorrow I'll scribble that out and I'll put tomorrow's date. And then I have some blank pages in here, but just a few. So that is my brain dump. It's very simple, very straightforward. It's not complicated. I don't have information that I have to write down in certain sections or in certain books. That to me is way overwhelming and I just can't do it. So this is my brain dump and as you guys know, I use my planner for everything, it's my task list, my appointments, my notes, everything. So that's it for the brain dump. So I did want to show you, um, I posted a picture on in the Facebook group, but this is how I have decorated my planner for October. I got this um, tassel off of a Yankee Candle package. I got this fly leaf or dashboard from Mrs. Brimbles. I love it. 
and I am using an orange highlighter. And then I'll show you my pages for today. This is my pages for today. And you see as I complete a task, I highlight it in yellow. I tried the whole bullet journaling thing. I think I mentioned that in my last video, but this just works so much better because I can easily see that I have these three things that I have left to do for work. And I have all of this stuff left to do for home tonight. But anyway, that is it. That is my brain dump and how I work it into my planner. I hope this is helpful. Um, if anybody has any questions, please leave a note in the comments. I appreciate you watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.